A fight has broken out in paradise as three of Queensland's top tourism spots compete to be the lucrative home base for fly-in, fly-out miners. The Gold Coast now has an airport terminal. The Sundays are fuming, saying the coast already has enough. The Gold Coast thinks it's ahead of the pack in attracting a rich vein of miners to live in paradise. It now has an airport terminal to sweeten the deal for mining companies to choose the city as a base to fly in and fly out up to 2,000 miners. They're pretty well paid anyway, put it that way. Mining giant BMA needs skilled workers for its project in central Queensland. It wants the workers and their families to live somewhere special. That sparked trouble in paradise as Cairns and the Sundays also want the base. It's a deal worth hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, obviously the Gold Coast should pull their head in. They've got enough people, you know, there are 1.2 million odd people uh, living in the southeast corner. He says the miners will keep tourism alive. We've got a lot of vacant rentals up here. We've got uh, people that can actually uh, living in the region. They've got skills in the region. Already people in the Sundays are thinking of a move to mining. I've got two young boys so it's just more of a case of um, yeah I think it's still, still one of the best places to live. The attraction from them all is you're only three to four hours away from, from the mine site. But not all welcome it. How that does not support um, economic prosperity for our areas. But despite where the base is located it's not smooth sailing for BMA just yet. The state government still has to sign off on the company's proposal for a 100% fly-in, fly-out mine. But once the deal is done, a Queensland paradise awaits these miners. In North Queensland, Melissa Vanderhaak, 10 News.